This video is meant as a tutorial for using PDF Sweep and I have made a demo project in Java with IntelliJ. Of course you can do the same in .NET uh, and of course we will not discuss all functionality here. So first let me take you to the POM file of this project um, where you can see the usual things on top. So an artifact ID, a version, group ID. I've also added two repositories, uh, one being the iText releases repository where you can find the official releases of all our products and add-ons and uh, secondly the iText snapshot uh, repository where you can find intermittent and temporary versions uh, that are not fully supported yet but that will make their way into a release. I've also added dependencies. So the first one is a dependency to iText license key so that I can load my license. The second one is a dependency to the layout module and the third one to the kernel module. These just offer me some basic functionality on PDF documents. And the last one is the focus of this tutorial. Uh, that's the cleanup module that I'm loading here, which is what uh, PDF sweep is all about. Once I've done that, uh, I can use this code and I'll take you through it. So first we load a license. Um, this is just an XML file that you can either get by requesting a trial license uh, or by purchasing a license from us. Um, then I define my input and output file. Um, the input file here is a version of Alice in Wonderland where I want to redact certain words and the output file will be in the exact same location um, but it will have the suffix redacted. Then I define a PDF document by telling iText I want to read from this location and I want to write from that location and then we get into PDF sweep specific logic. So um, PDF sweep expects me to pass it a list of basically rectangles where I want to remove content. So I start by setting up that list and then I add one location. Um, the first parameter here is the page. Uh, so pages start from one and I want to remove uh, the word Alice on page one at a specific location. So I'm entering a one here. This here, the rectangle is where I want to remove the word Alice and this color um, indicates what kind of color PDF sweep should use when it's drawing a rectangle there. Once I've defined all of my cleanup locations, I can simply create a new cleanup tool. Uh, cleanup tool expects me to give it a PDF document to clean and a list of cleanup locations. Once I've constructed a cleanup tool, I can simply call cleanup on it and then close the document to make sure that uh, my new content gets written to a file. So let's have a look at the input document and then we'll run the code. This is the input document. As you can see, it's a plain text document uh, and it has selectable content. So there's actual text in there, it's not a scan. And I can have the word Alice here uh, and this is the word that I want to remove. And we'll run the code and see what happens. Okay, it says process finished, so that was quite fast. And now we'll look at the redacted document. And as you can see, uh, there is no more first word Alice here. Um, more importantly, if I select the text, you can see that my selection stops uh, where the word Alice used to be. So it's not just drawing a rectangle on top of this content, it's actually removing the text, because otherwise I could select it. Um, and let's see what happens if we try to find the word Alice. It indicates that this is the first location. Uh, and even if I change the casing to make it exactly into that one, it still says that um, this one is the first match. So the content here is actually removed. It's not just drawing a rectangle on top of it. Of course, like I said, this is only one possible use case. Uh, we also allow you to remove content from images. 
uh, and we also have a code that allows you to remove content by specifying a regular expression and then PDF cleanup will automatically go over your document and find that word and remove it everywhere. If you have any further questions, head over to our website or contact support.